Make him wish he were dead. Yes. And then grant his wish. But how? The cunning warrior attacks neither body nor mind. Tell me how! The heart, Osborne. First, we attack his heart. Hello everybody, this is Physics Feature. Today's topic is the potential of the Hobgoblin coming the sixth member of the Sinister Six in the upcoming blockbuster movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. New Spidey film is right around the corner, and fans worldwide are speculating whether we'll get a sixth member to the already confirmed combo of Green Goblin, Electro, Sandman, the Lizard, and of course, Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, or whether we'll just get a Sinister Five. There's been various rumours circulating about the potential sixth member of the Sinister Six, Sinister Six, and the post credit scene in Venom adding fuel to the fire. While we love the idea of Venom in Spider-Man No Way Home, we do like the idea of an origin story of Ned Leeds' Hobgoblin. In the comic books, the origin story was basic. Ned was a good person Peter trusted, but his life changed for the worse when he discovered the hideout of the real villain, Hobgoblin, Roderick Kingsley. Needing someone to take the fall for his crimes, Kingsley captured Ned and managed to brainwash him into thinking he was the Hobgoblin. I think we'll see something slightly different to that. My theory is that either the spell will make Ned forget who Peter is, and he'll be brainwashed and manipulated by Norman Osborn himself, or that we'll see a new Ned in the final battle from another multiverse, maybe. But the MCU have made so many significant changes to Ned Leeds in Spider-Man Homecoming that the character eventually, um, using the Hobgoblin costume, felt like an unlikely outcome. However, it no longer seems like such a stretch. Early viral marketing for Spider-Man No Way Home included artwork with an, ed with an image of the orange hobgoblin cap from the comics, which could have been a bit of a tease from what's around the corner in the movie. Plus, ba Jacob Batalon has lost a great deal of weight for the role, which has further created speculation about Ned suiting up as the hobgoblin. Um, also, just to note, the early viral marketing campaign on that was actually a former run Instagram account, which was run by Marvel itself. No longer is, though. There's also the matter of the multiverse and how it's being implemented in the movie. It's been apparent for a while now that the parallel universes would be central to Spider-Man No Way Home. The first full trailer for the movie actually confirmed it with multiple characters tied to the past Spider-Man franchise. He's coming to, back to fight the MCU Spider-Man with Jamie Foxx's Electro, Alfred Molina's Doctor Octopus, William Defoe's Green Goblin, and more are all expected to return. Despite the fact that not all of them are in the same cinematic universe, it's believed that Marvel will make this work by bringing in Sam Raimi's trilogy, the Amazing Spider-Man movies, into the MCU canon by making them separate universes within a larger multiverse. The idea that there could be limitless parallel universes in existence is what makes Ned Leeds being utilised as the Hobgoblin a real possibility. There's a number of ways Marvel can use the multiverse to explain um, Ned's Hobgoblin transformation. Many fans have theorised that the shot of the Hobgoblin maskless could in fact be Ned Leeds. And I've seen an interesting theory that Ned actually pushed MJ off the scaffold in the new movie. I'm not too sure on that. Could be plucking at straws, but at this point we're going off anything. I, I do love how we only see Ned in the legendary orange of the Hobgoblin throughout the trailers, hopefully foreshadowing the future mantle hen held as the Hobgoblin. My personal take on this is that he will be manipulated more by Norman Osborn. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you agree or think it's just a lot of language. Thanks. Bye.